the defense from last year, Landon Collins, to me, was the defensive player of the year last year. And I'm expecting that defense to show up again in the same manner. I think they win. The, I would vote for the Giants in our poll question today that they win the NFC East. Certainly, if you take on the Cowboys without Ezekiel Elliott in week one, as everyone's expecting, in the Jones Mahal, where usually, <laughs> except for that one moment where Tony Romo stuck it in, in right. the end zone with two seconds left because of the that hurt ball and clock management that the yeah. that the Giants employed prior. I, I I like the Giants to win the NFC East and. I'm not ready to say it yet fully officially, but I'd like them to win the NFC, period. Look, I, I, I really Whoa. felt that that was a championship defense up until Aaron Rodgers threw a Hail Mary with no time left on the clock. That defense was playing in the playoffs against a great quarterback really well. Now, that Hail Mary happened and everything obviously went awry, but uh, and we also we lost DRC. I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I try to be realistic, but... We are certainly set up to to go on the run now. You got to stay healthy. You see things that happen with Shepard, but I am I haven't been. I mean, I've been excited in the past, but I am I am very excited about this Giants team because we have defense to go with the offense. It's not just one side of the ball that's looking good. That's true. And now uh, this kid Evan Ingram, I, I I I'm really high on him. I'm really his athletic skill set. And I'm told that his blocking skills is also something that that's, that's what I'm been a little overlooked. worried about. Is it? Is it? Yeah. No, that's what I'm hearing. He's he's blowing defensive ends away, and and these do one of the drills. backs step up, which will be huge for us. If one of these running backs, if per Perkins, or even if we can get Vereen healthy for more than a few games, if someone steps up, I'm surprised they didn't go after Legarrette Blunt. I thought that was going to happen. That would have been a great fit. Perfect. And, and then if, Blunt, now he's with the Eagles. I know. If they would have maybe met the Patriots in the Super Bowl, that would have been a great little storyline for us to talk about. I'm thinking of another one last Brady Eli go at it in Minnesota. Another wow. Another dome stadium. <sighs> one last Brady Eli showdown for Tom to go for six, one for the other thumb, and, and finally the slay the yeah. Eli Dragon or Eli, this this is as delicious a a storyline is out there, or the kryptonite, one more time, gets his third, and he seals his Hall of Fame credentials undoubtedly. Now I know the Cowboys and everyone else in that division have an issue with it. Packers, and Packers, Seahawks, Seahawks, Cardinals. Someone from the NFC South is going to be better than we think because that happens every year. Uh, you got, I'm thinking about. I mean, I can't get you. Can't get you <laughs> off of all you that. You go three and zero against Tom Brady. I mean that 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 does something for your legacy. I think that's probably going to be the most unique legacy you could have. Really, yeah. Think about it. I'm just. I'm not saying like that. He makes him the greatest quarterback ever. I'm just saying you go three and zero against arguably the greatest quarterback he is, ever. He is. I think that uh, we already we that's how we started our show, even though we weren't expecting right. To do that. You know, yeah. that, I mean, that definitely adds to a unique legacy that I don't think you could really find with any other player, where he built his legacy on beating the one guy who's the best. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.